Hey team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to cover about IDS and IPS, Intrusion Detection System and Intrusion Prevention System. I'm covering this concept uh, more from the interview preparation and exam preparation. So this topic is testable in the IC Square exams, ISACA exams, Comshia exams, EC Council exam. If you're new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Okay, so first we need to start with the introduction of IDS and IPS. Intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system. If you're talking about the definition of IDS, it is clearly said that it is a solution which monitor a network or system for a malicious activity or policy violation but it doesn't drop it doesn't prevent it is only detect and ips basically a solution capable of detecting all the security concerns but as well as it basically drop anything which is non-compliance it means things which is not going as per the requirement let's take example like we have a security guard now security guard we have given a clear instruction to security guard if this number of number plates of car is basically coming please block him so here it worked like ips but we told security guard that any car is coming to the apartment okay outside of these numbers and all that just note down in the register okay you don't need to stop them because they will be unnecessary fight so this is where the security guard work in a ids mode so ids discover if anything going against the policy it will only discover and detect but in the case of ips if things are going against the policies and all that, it will basically block and it will drop the packet. That is why we call IDS used to detect the intrusion and IPS used to prevent the intrusion. So intrusion is basically mean any action which is attempted by the attacker to compromise the network or anything which is act accessing in an unauthorized manner that is called as an intrusion, like uninvited guest. Okay, so example like this is my uh, IDS we have example intrusion detection system okay and uh, we have a user one and this is my web server okay so user sending a traffic now ids will basically capture this traffic and compare against the rules which is basically create i'm just taking example by defining a rule here is source is any destination is basically a web server source port is any and destination port is 80 so what happened is we have created this rule which define as a legitimate traffic behavior now ids will capture the traffic and check the context of the traffic against this particular rule we have discovered yes source is any we cannot we cannot we can ignore that destination this packet is going on a web server source port is any okay but destination port is not a 80 in the packet it's showing me 27 or 23 so ids will basically log that traffic okay so that is the role of ids but if i say we have a ips in that case it will basically block that traffic it will drop the traffic that is why ids is also called as a outline mode and ips is called as a inline mode it means if user sending any traffic to web server if the traffic doesn't meet as per the ips it will block there itself it will not reach the web server but in the ids it will remain outline it remain passive and just away allow the traffic to be go on a web server but it will log the traffic that is why ips slow down the performance whereas a ips sorry ips will basically slow down the performance with the ids will not slow down the performance that's why it's, it's clearly mentioned here ids does not slow the network traffic because it will not block but in the case of ips it will basically block that's why it will impact the network traffic but ultimate goal of ips and ids is different so that is the thing we have now when you're talking about ids component because we are specifically talking about in this session ids so ids basically has a two component one is called as a sensor and one is basically called as an analysis engine okay so first we discuss about the sensor so sensor is two type network based intrusion detection system 
and host based intrusion detection system so what is nids and what is hids suppose this is my network internet so we install the nids here on the border of the network and then we have a switch here and then we install the system a we install the system b and we install the system c okay so now what happened the traffic is basically coming from outside so nids will monitor from where it is coming to where it is going it also monitor from which port is coming to which port is going but once the traffic is passed to the nids what kind of a changes it introduce in every system that nids will not able to monitor for that we need to install in every system hids okay so nids is basically used to monitor the network level traffic and hids is basically used to monitor the host level traffic like modification attempt in a system level and all that so we have a tools like tripwire and all that but one concern with installing hids in every system is that performance issue okay so that is the nids and hids so that's why we prefer to install the nids in the border of the network which monitor all the traffic which is coming to the enterprise network and if you want a system level activity we install the hids in every system just like our antivirus but the question is how they detect the intrusion so they have a two way to detect the intrusion based on a pattern matching and based on anomaly that i'm going to discuss in my next slide so we have discussed so far about ids component which is called as hids and ids and that is a two type of sensors we have that we place in the border of the network or in a one particular host and the second part uh, is basically called as a analysis engine but the question is you know based on what factor it able to detect the intrusion so we have a two type of intrusion detection mechanism we are using one is called as a pattern matching which is also called as a signature based intrusion detection and second is anomaly based detection like example we have a antivirus the antivirus that we installed in a system it basically scan the file check for the signature and compare against the database signature match they will give a alert it will block so same like ids and ips use sensors they use sorry they use analysis engine they use this mechanism based on which they detect the intrusion so first which is a traditional method is called as a signature base fast and very effective you can say like that but fail to detect the zero day attacks or new attacks and all that so pattern matching and signature base is basically use fix sequence of bytes within the packet it use signature base inspection limited to the service and protocol of layer 2 to layer 4 attack vectors is known and system procedure and alert if the pattern is basically detected which is mentioned here example like this is the nids we have just imagine okay and uh, we have a web server here example this is my web server and we also have a attacker so attacker basically send the packet now this nids if it's using a pattern matching they will check the content they check the packet in the packet they check some strings okay there, there is a strings are there example f f 1 1 f f 2 2 i'm just giving example here so in the packet the packet what we have captured in that there is a content and the content it has some this kind of a strings then nids will check in his database and try to identify if we have any such kind of an attack with this kind of a pattern if pattern match nids will log the traffic that is why it is called as a pattern matching signature base or pattern matching or signature base intrusion detection they check the signature they check the string values in the packet and compare against the database they have okay so that is how it works but there is a one disadvantage of the pattern matching or signature base we have if signature is not up to date with the new attacks or new signature is not there then nids will fail to detect the new attacks so that is the one concern we have is pattern matching faster effective based on the signature base 
in order to improve that process we basically introduce the second one which is called as a anomaly based detection which is abnormal okay so in this case we basically what we did we created a normal baseline and look for the deviation from the normal baseline example source is any <clears throat> sorry like source is any destination is the web server source port is any most of the traffic is coming on the port number 80 because we have web server only so any traffic coming from outside it going on a port number 80 so we will look for any kind of a abnormal behavior if any packet is going against this traffic profile i want that to be recorded because that is an anomaly so we developed the profile initially when we installed the solution what it does it it, it basically develop many behavioral attributes like number of emails sent by user, number of failed login attempts, number of host, number of packets are going on this port, telnet attempt by root user, or telnet attempt by some other thing. So this kind of a profile behavior we have created. So whenever such kind of a profiles comes, or such kind of a traffic comes, we will basically compare against the traffic profiles. If it's basically going against that, it will record that as an intrusion. Example like four login attempt it's a common thing but if we discover more than five six seven which is against the deviation it will record that as an intrusion so instead of checking based on a signature base and all that they observe the behavior of the traffic today we're using the advanced version of anomaly in which we introduce the ai and ml which is called as a network behavior analysis anomaly where we analyze the behavior apart from checking the signature and based on that they record the intrusion so it's very effective at detecting the previously unknown threats because we have created a traffic profile for that okay but it generate lot of false positive traffic okay so this is called a pattern matching or signature base or anomaly based detection which is also called as a network behavior analysis let's move to the next part so we have discussed about different type of ideas then we discuss about the way to analyze the uh, the traffic intrusion which is more like a based on a signature content based on the uh, behavior now when we implementing ideas in the organization we consider several parameter okay so we have a number of factors when we're implementing ideas it's not something okay randomly we implement nids and hids so we have a multiple parameters so first is called about scale of traffic if you know that okay we don't want a host specific we receiving more and more network traffic and all that so as a security architect as a security consultant as a security manager we will recommend to have a one common nids in the border of the network so any traffic is coming from outside we can able to monitor now if nids i want to monitor for the internal traffic so what is the best practice is um, this is my switch okay a switch is basically work in a unicast sorry unicast mode so if we have a system a we have a system b and we have a system c if a want to send data to c a send it to switch and switch will directly send the data to c because switch work in the unicast mode but in that case if i install the nids and nids want to capture the traffic stream and all that it will not possible so we need to create a span port we called as a span port mirror port we called and that port is basically mirror with all the ports so if a sending any kind of a traffic to c the traffic is going to this port only this port will send one copy of the traffic to this port make sure capability and capacity bandwidth of this port should be bigger than other because that port is handling the copy of the traffic which is coming on these ports okay so when you planning for you you have a you know you have a huge traffic network quantity and all that so according to that you can need to place the nids might be sometime one nids will not be effective so we install the multiple nids which work in a fail safe mode okay so if one nids is down from another nids we can able to inspect the traffic so this is how we can able to create the load balancer second is we need to improve and increase the attack signature because that is the one concern with signature based ideas it will fail to detect the new attacks so on a regular basis we need to update the attack signature so it can able to discover the new attacks third is we need to focus on the quality instead of quantity because more data we collect more time it will take to 
to the analysis and all that so it's it's very important during an anomaly we create a more granular traffic profiles and that is only possible when you install the ideas it will be in a learning mode where he will discover or the tool is discover or device will discover more and more traffic pattern so that is another important thing the placement of ideas it's also play a very important role see if you place the ideas inside the security parameter example this is the firewall we have and then you basically install the ideas here okay so example like this is the ideas we have sorry i'm sorry so if you have a ideas here and this is the firewall so traffic is already restrict the firewall so firewall already filter the cream traffic and then it the cream traffic is going to the ideas okay so ideas will basically focus on the quality traffic okay and anyone who try to bypass the firewall and able to hack any servers or other servers that intrusions can be discovered and detect by the ideas so that is a one thing but if you place the ideas if you place the ideas before firewall here then what happen in that case it will monitor all kind of a traffic and the unknown attack pattern which is coming from outside so again depending upon the business requirement we can able to place the ideas when you dealing with the ideas we have a two type of error false positive and false negative false positive is basically when ips ideas identify something as an attack but in fact it's a normal traffic it mean it give alarm that okay someone has a password attempt but in reality it is like a normal traffic or there was a one day administrator trying to access from its home ideas discover this as a intrusion but in reality it is not an attack okay it's a normal traffic so that is called as a false positive then second is basically called as a false negative where there was a actual an attack but ideas failed to detect so for the any security consultant or any company concern is the false negative incident where we have installed the hi-fi solutions and everything but failed to detect the new intrusions and all that okay that's why when we dealing with the ids and ips we also have a more important matrix one is called as a reporting and second is called as a event monitoring now i have seen lot of people get confused with these two words reporting is all about analysis based on the archive information analysis based on archive information where the event monitoring is basically a real time monitoring okay so reporting is all about analysis based on archive information event monitoring is all about real time monitoring so ideas what it does it does first event monitoring and then it will basically document as a report okay that's why in order to remove reduce this false positive and false negative then you we need to tune the sensor more effectively tuned to ensure these are kept to be minimum this false positive and false negative need to be keep minimum okay so this is all from my side so let's have some questions which type of solution deployed in a inline mode ids is outline we left with ips so answer is basically ips let's discuss the second question which type of solution deployed in a outline mode answer is ids which we have covered next question which type of ids is most effective for detecting audit logs processes inside a single system keyword is single system that's why i'm going with the answer hids which type of ids focus on analysis of the network traffic the answer is nids So if you find this video useful and you want more content like that do share uh, your comments do post your comments on the video so what kind of a video you want from me from next time i will try my best to make a video i'm planning to make more contents like in this format where i cover the content and along with that uh, covering the questions to make sure you understand the concept very well and if you new to my channel do subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos thank you